Ever wonder why your parents are always coaxing you into eating those funny green vegetables? Or why they make you eat all those oranges because they're high in vitamin C? What does that even mean, anyways? Well, vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin that plays a role in maintaining the health of the body's connective tissue and acts as an antioxidant in which your body needs to ingest on a daily basis in order to maintain necessary supplies. It is absorbed in the body's digestive system through diffusion in the small intestine, where molecules are so small they are able to travel out of the intestinal wall and into the bloodstream. It is important for us to ingest frequently because humans and our primate relatives are part of just a handful of animals that are unable to synthesize vitamin C on our own due to a single enzyme mutation. Luckily, most fresh foods, in particular citrus foods, are full of the necessary vitamin. But what happens when humans don't get enough of this essential vitamin? At first, you may feel fine. I mean, all those processed junk foods are pretty tasty, right? But after a while, you may start feeling extremely tired and have super dry skin. Doesn't sound so fun anymore, does it? This is because you may be experiencing early signs of scurvy. Scurvy is a disease caused by having a chronic or severe deficiency of vitamin C, something that, like we said earlier, can only be obtained by consuming foods that possess the substance. Later effects of the disease include loss of teeth, severe and easy bruising, bleeding, and finally, death. It has been a disease that has occurred in regular frequency throughout history and prehistory in populations lacking access to fresh foods, especially vegetables and meats. For most of this time in history, there was knowledge of the disease's existence, but no knowledge of how to cure it. It played a particularly large part in naval history during the time of exploration by sail, where it was difficult to carry fresh supplies on board ships for long periods of time. It wasn't until the year 1747, when James Lind conducted the first known clinical trial to combat the disease, that things began to look up for those who were to suffer from the sailor's disease. He based his experiment on Johann Backstrom, who noted in 1734 that scurvy was due to a total abstinence from fresh vegetable food and greens. He conducted his research upon a British naval ship and subdivided 12 members of the crew who were suffering from scurvy into pairs which consumed either cider, acid, seawater, or lemons. At the end of the six-day trial, those who had received the lemon juice had made almost a full recovery while all the others were still sick. Although they were heavily ignored for quite some time, Lin's findings eventually changed the face of the disease forever, and sailors no longer feared the deadly disease. So, now that we know that scurvy can be combated by the ingestion of fresh foods and meats, how much of those things do we need to hit our necessary daily intake? It's not as hard as you may think. The recommended daily amount of vitamin C ranges from 65 to 90 milligrams which foods such as guava, blackcurrant, peppers, kiwi, and broccoli already have on their own after just eating a few. Eating half a red pepper alone has 85 milligrams of vitamin C, and one little kiwi has 64 milligrams. Just a few of these fresh foods a day, and you are easily able to combat the possibility of scurvy. However, just because the intake of vitamin C is crucial to our survival, doesn't mean you can't have too much of it. Ingesting the proper amount of vitamin C per day helps promote collagen formation, antioxidant formation, iron absorption, and a healthy immune system. However, if you ingest past the upper daily limit of 2,000 mg a day of vitamin C, you can also begin to suffer from the effects of having a surplus of vitamin C in the body. The symptoms aren't as bad as scurvy, but nausea, abdominal cramps, and the possibility of kidney stone formation aren't fun either, so it really is a balance when it comes to vitamin C intake. If you really can't bring yourself to eat those fruits and vegetables, there are vitamin C supplements you can take that give you a healthy daily dose of the vitamin. However, those don't give you access to all the other essential nutrients, other essential vitamins, sugars, and fiber that your body needs daily too. Vitamin C is an essential part to a healthy diet, and you should be ensuring you are eating enough daily, though it is just one of the essential vitamins and minerals your body needs every day. The best way to make sure you are getting enough of everything your body needs is simply eating healthy foods and following the food rainbow. And even though those vegetables might not taste as good as those chips, scurvy is definitely way worse than the taste of broccoli.